Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to take you along with me as I try to build a pretty simple drawer uh, for my Tacoma that fits under my bed platform because I have this piece of wood here that's just kind of in the way and I need to get rid of it. So the plan is to have it half the width of this and the drawer comes all the way out. Now I don't want to cover up my panel so I'm going to have it follow along the wheel well all the way up to here and then probably have it full length or full width from here to around here because my stove here fits perfectly when it's sideways and I rather have it sideways versus long ways taking up all the space in the drawer. So we're basically going to build just a L shaped drawer and it's just gonna slide in and out. I'm not worried about these rails. I don't think I'm gonna take them out I think the drawer will just slide on top of them and it should shouldn't be an issue The other side would be simpler, but I got other plans for that side. They'll have to see in a future video. So Let's get started Here's the current fit, it's pretty good. Uh, of course, I always forget about this part of the bed coming out, so I have to notch that uh, like I did for my bed platform. But then we just have to create the sides and a front panel I can pull out and that'll be it. But that's pretty much it. And it'll just come right out. Of course, I'll sand the bottom, make sure it's all nice and smooth. And depending on how it feels, I may, I don't know. I may do something else with it, maybe put felt pads or something because of the bed rug. If I had just the plastic or composite bed, I probably wouldn't even worry about it. But so this is our drawer, our bottom. It all fits, it looks fine. I have to sand it, but I also have to build the walls, which I'm running out of daylight and I don't think I have a piece long enough to go across this left side entirely. So I'll probably have to come back to that. So we have to measure the height from here the bottom of our sleeping platform and give it like a quarter of an inch of clearance so going off of what we built previously we are right at right under nine inches so that's uh, basically nine inches minus three quarters so eight and a quarter is how high we have to make the walls here so we're probably gonna do the back the right and then these little pieces uh, hopefully with this scrap piece before it gets too dark and then we'll either have to go buy something or figure out something else I may just put scrap pieces along the wall because I really don't want to go buy more wood for this I'd rather try to use what I have
today. I didn't have enough time to finish this yesterday, but a little thing to watch out for is when you do this, when your nail gun, you want to make sure that your nail goes in all the way, which, as you can see, it's kind of stick. Don't worry about this one. That was a test run. This one sticks out. This one sticks out a bit. I got it fixed down the line, but just make sure your nail gun is punching them in all the way, or now you have a lot of work to do like me. So I want to show you this little trick. If you have one of these clamps, this is a cheap Harbor Freight one, so chances are the nicer ones will do it. But you can actually turn it from a clamp into a spreader, like I have here, because I needed to push the top out to level it. So you unscrew one end, or this end specifically. So it comes right out, just like that. You take this and you put it over here on the other end like this and you just screw this back in and now instead of a clamp you have a spreader so for instance over here this clamp is pushing my wood in in now this clamp is pushing it out and just like this one I'll push it out as well so just a little tip So it is built. I had to add a little supporting brace here because you know I didn't have a piece long enough there. And then this is ugly because scrap pieces. Like I'd rather use what I had, like small pieces left over, like that over there, instead of cutting up bigger pieces. So I'm gonna flip this entire thing over and sand it all down so it smooths, so it slides smoother in the bed rug. So we're gonna do that real quick. It is sanded on bottom. Let's go see if it fits. Well, I had what I'm gonna call a critical blunder and uh, I made the whole thing probably about half an inch too tall. So I'm gonna take a circular saw and shave it down all the way around. Probably would have been better to test fit it before I bolted it all together, but you know, first time for everything, I guess. So we're gonna do that now. Okay guys, it's in, it's under the platform and there is a small gap so it can be pulled out. Obviously I don't have the handle I'm gonna put in, which it's actually just gonna be a hole to pull on. But uh, the whole measure twice cut once thing only matters if you measure correctly twice, so after some trimming it fits now. So I'm gonna cut my handle, which is gonna be hole, hole, and then make an oval so it's just a handle to pull out, and that'll be it. So there you have it, here it is. It's not perfect. It may not even be considered good, but it's heavy, it should be pretty solid, and it should work fine for me. I'll probably uh, add some dividers for organization at some point, which maybe gives an excuse to buy a router as a new tool, which is always a good sign. But I gotta use it, 
abuse it, and then I'll go from there about fixing it or making it better. So I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional woodworker uh, or anything. And wear proper safety equipment. Do it at your own risk. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.